Hello there. Well, today we're going to talk about how to add a column, how to delete or remove a column, how to hide a column, how to add custom columns. So let's jump right into it. And before we begin, let me just tell you this. If we right click on any uh, column name, this, this is the menu that we're going to get, right? And it's going to be the same for every other column. So if I right click on info or source, destination, whatever, this is the menu we're going to see. Okay. So I right click on the destination column. When I see a line left, this means the contents under the column destination are aligned to the left. If I say align to the center, for example, the contents under destination will be aligned to the center right here, as you see it, right? So if I say align right, the contents of destination are going to be extremely near to the contents of source because source is on the right side of destination. So if I say align right, as you can see, they are extremely near now. I don't like to keep it that way. Uh, I, I like to keep it aligned left because it helps me read the packet timeline easily. So yeah, that's what I prefer. Okay, now moving on to the other options. Custom, uh, column preferences, I'm gonna talk about it afterwards. Um, we have edit column. If I go ahead and click on edit column, it's gonna let me edit that particular column uh, right away. So if I right click on destination and say edit column, it's going to let me edit the destination column. If I right click on info column and say edit column, it's going to let me edit the info column as you can see right here, right? Okay, what is the other option that we get after that? We get the other option is resize to contents. So resize to contents, for example, if I right click on source, right? So if I right click on source and say resize to contents, then uh, the uh, columns towards the right side that are on the right side of the source column are going to come as near as possible to the contents of that particular column. Let me just show it to you. If I right click on source right now and say resize to contents, the columns on the right side are going to move towards the left, as you can see, you know? Uh, right here, protocol came very near to the source. So it just resized the column source to its contents, and therefore the columns on the right side came towards the left. I can resize it manually as well, resize column to width. I can mention a manual value here. So it says 202 right now. So if I say, for example, 133, so this one's going to be very near again. If I say, okay, as you can see, I don't like it that way. I can go ahead and say resize column to width. I can say 300, for example, and it goes far away, right? Simple, right? I can go ahead and move columns as well. So I don't like uh, destination on the left side of source. So I have destination here and source here. Usually what we have is we have source on this side, right? And destination on this side. So I was just playing around. So let me just go ahead and drag and drop destination to the right side. So I, I can literally move destination like this and place it right here. Source is on the left now, right? And I, I can resize my columns as I want in this way as well. So pretty simple and straightforward, right? Okay. Oh, just, just realize that the cursor does not highlight when I show you the resize. So when you try to resize the column, like by, by dragging uh, with the left click, this is the pipe you see right here, right? This pipe. This is what you got to click on and then uh, drag the column. So if I take my mouse there and uh, if I take the cursor there and then, you know, I can just drag it left or right accordingly, right? And you see the width as well, as you can see right here, right? If I leave it and then get my cursor back there and try to move it, I click on it and it shows me the width right there and then width 142. And you can, you know, this is how I prefer it, like in short literally. So how do you add a column? You can either go to edit and then preferences. The last option under edit is preferences, the edit option I'm talking about right here, or you can just right click on any of these columns and then choose column preferences. Let me show you both these options one by one. Right click on destination, for example, and then you go to column preferences, right? If I go to column preferences, voila, that's it. So you got to click on this plus button right here, and uh, that will help you add a column. And uh, just to tell you about this, uh, these boxes that are checked uh, signify that these are the columns that are actually displayed. And the ones that are not checked, they exist, 
They are there, but they are hidden. They are not displayed. Well, that is how you hide a column or display a column. You check the box, they're displayed. You uncheck the box, they're hidden. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on cancel and show you the option. The same thing that you see under edit. If you go to edit and then preferences, the second option right here, you gotta click on columns, right? And you'll see the same menu that you saw from there. So you, you'd start you know, going for shortcuts when um, you get kind of used to it. Okay, so I can go ahead and say show display uh, displayed columns only. What does that mean? That these are the only columns that are actually displayed on my on my Wireshark interface when I'm troubleshooting any problem, right? If I uncheck this box, then it's going to show me all the columns that actually exist. Okay, now these are not uh, displayed. For example, source port, a destination port. I can go ahead and check them, and you'll be able to see the columns for these as well. Right now, let's talk about uh, adding a column. For example, I click on Add. A column you see right here it says new column i can name it whatever i want for example i'm going to say host i want to name it host okay what's the type the next option if you double click on it you'll see a drop down i'm going to say okay this one what do i want to keep it i want to keep this one as custom let's say for example so i'm going to go for custom where is it ccc custom okay and then i got to give it the field as well right i'm going to say this one is HTTP host, for example. This is one of the ways of adding a column. I did that. I'll say OK. And that's pretty much it. And you can see right here from the right size, uh, I have added more columns. Let me just remove this one. Let me remove uh, test not required. I just added host right now, right? I'm just going to drag it towards the left side and uh, I'm going to resize it like this. Okay, although there's nothing in there, but yeah, this is how you add a column. I just now added a column, and as I said, there are two ways of doing it, column preference and so on. Now, if you wanna go ahead and remove a column, on the other hand, or let me just go ahead and add another column. Okay, so this time I'm gonna say add, and then I'm gonna select length, okay? And uh, the type of this one is gonna be, it's gonna give me the size. So I'm gonna go for the length of this particular packet, which is gonna be the packet length, which is in bytes, as you can see right here. And this column is actually already there. Anyways, uh, not a problem, I can add it again, although there's, uh, that's not required. But anyways, I'm just gonna show you how to add another column. In this case, I'm not gonna add anything uh, under fields, right? This third option in the last example I showed you, I added the field as well, right? HTTP.host. In this case, I don't need it. As you can see, for a lot of columns, you don't need the fields uh, column, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay. Okay, as soon as I, I say, okay. Okay, I don't see the column here. That's because it's on the right side. It's just that I'm gonna go ahead and say, column preferences. I'm going to say length. This is the same length that I just created. I'm going to drag it uh, just before, okay, just between source and destination and say, okay, okay, I have it right here between source and destination. I'm going to say resize to contents and then I'm going to drag the destination column a little bit towards the wide so that it looks good. Okay, that's pretty much it about adding columns. Now we're going to move to uh, Okay, I did show you how to hide a column, right? Hiding a column is different um, than removing a column. I don't want the length column, for example. I don't want the length column. I right click on it and I say remove the column. This is one of the ways of removing a column. And if I click on it, that's it. If I right click on destination, I'm not gonna see the length column now here, the one that was selected. The other length column is still here, right? And I see the host column as well. So if I uncheck the host column, you'll see that the host column is not here anymore on the interface, but I can actually re-add it because this is, I just, um, I, I went ahead and unchecked it so that it's not displayed anymore. So if I check it again, it will be displayed as you can see right here. So hiding is different from removing. If I go ahead and remove it, 
you won't see that option to check host again so that it's displayed right it's gone so you right click on the column that you want to remove and go ahead and remove the column and that's it it removes that particular column okay let's talk about custom uh columns now so whatever wireshark can show in the packet details section right that value can also be shown as a column what do i mean by that and how we can do that let me just show it to you real quick now so let me just go ahead and expand icmp the very first option you see is type 8 echo ping request if i left click on it drag it and put it here on source it's going to be added to the left of source as you can see right here now we have added this particular value under icmp as a column this is one of the ways of doing it if i want to add something else let's say for example sequence number le blah 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 i right click on it and i say apply as column if i go ahead and click on it it will be applied as a column now if i go to column preferences i see sequence number le here at the bottom i'm going to drag it to type just after type and say okay and you see right here, this one's been added as a column as well. Well, that's how you add custom columns, simple. And before we wrap it up, I guess I forgot to show you this option. So if you go to edit and then preferences or right click on a column, go to uh, column preferences and go to columns. This is another way of deleting a column. So for example, I go to test, right? I select a test and then I click on this, uh, this this minus right here right so if i do that the test column will be deleted so this is another way of deleting the column i showed you another way right right click and then remove the column and so on so yeah tcpp i can go ahead and delete it and so on yeah i hope that was helpful thank you so much for watching the video you have a great day if you haven't subscribed please go ahead goodbye